all right what's going on everybody so gonna be bringing all of you videos of uh, all the different game modes and maps for titanfall so right now we're on um we're doing attrition um on angel city the urban map uh as i've stated before in that uh in my um first impressions there's only two maps um on the beta so as i stated before attrition is basically deathmatch now one thing i did not mention in um my first in that first impressions video was the wall running and things like that and and the verticality of the maps which is very important because if you play this game uh just like any other game in terms of being in terms of it being linear and it's obviously not you're going to be at a disadvantage you as much as much as i you know may get on uh, certain people for staying on top of rooftops um, and it may be annoying it's something you have to take advantage of you know I don't like people who stay on top of the rooftops the whole game you know and just exploit that but it's definitely something you have to take advantage of um, the verticality of the map and everything like that because it obviously gives you a definite advantage and also another thing I didn't mention is this game is very easy to pick up it's very pick up and play very easy to get into it's not really a learning curve you can you know understand the fundamentals of this game fairly quickly just for, by playing a few games just by playing it one day you even though this is only a beta and there's limited content you feel like you grasp grasp the fundamentals of the whole game you know just by playing a, a few rounds um, especially since there's a you know a pretty good tutorial that tells you every single thing you need to know you know that definitely helps out and this is the PC version that I'm playing on right now and by the way I'm probably gonna try to uh, one thing I'm gonna try to start doing is my PC video since I obviously am playing in you know 1440p I'm gonna start uh, trying to upload uh, as many videos as possible in 1440p so this probably will be in 1440p you know it obviously you know the higher resolutions take longer to render but sometimes I definitely think it's worth the time um, for better video quality so if you can if your computer can handle it you know watch this video in 1440p you know since I took the time out to render render it in that and also about the PC version of the game um, because yesterday I stated I, I mostly spent time on the Xbox one version of the game because I didn't have a PC code until late um, Yesterday afternoon, but since then I've been playing the PC version the thing about the PC version is uh, why it's a little bit harder to adapt is Because this is not your typical first-person shooter where you don't need that many button keys or anything you there's a lot of button manipulation uh, and handling like I said it's not like every other uh, first-person shooter where you pretty much only need buttons to shoot crouch throw a grenade because of the you know the uh, features of this game it definitely requires you to remember and manipulate a lot more buttons especially you know when you're in the Titan and things like that so you know that was just something uh, I had to get used to a little bit more I had to find keys for certain things uh, that I would be comfortable with that otherwise I wouldn't need to uh, even care about in any other in other any other shooter so you know that was the challenge and also remembering them and you know finding keys that I'm that I'm completely uh, comfortable using for certain scenarios so you know that was the only uh, thing I had to go through with the PC version because obviously that's the convenience of control of a controller is every button is right there at your fingertips you know mouse and keyboard your hand is you know like I said manipulating different keys at the same time but I will always prefer you know mouse and keyboard obviously for the precision reasons but yeah like I've said before I've been having a great time with this beta having a, a lot of fun how long does this beta even last I don't think it's, it's a very long time um, I think I think it's only like a week or less or something like that um, but one thing I want to address again is the bots in this game because I, I think it's just, you know, and I was hit with an EMP grenade there, or rather an art grenade right there. One thing um, people, well, I would say it's just fanboys and people just blindly hating on the game when they haven't played it. Because here's the thing, if someone plays this game and says they don't like it, that's completely fine to me. If you actually play it and you say it sucks because you didn't like it, I, I don't see anything wrong with that. What my problem is, is what I realized coming most of these comments 
are coming from people who have not played the game. I look in the comment section and that's pretty much where all the negative comments are coming from. People who have not played it. Have not. So it's just crazy to me. What a coincidence. All the people who have not played the game, you know, most of the people who have not played the game, those were that's where all the most of the negative comments are coming from. Like I said, if you play the game and you don't like it, you have full uh, and complete right to say it sucks in your opinion. But the people who are just like, oh, it sucks, it looks like it sucks, you can tell the people who haven't played it because they're just speculating based on what they've, what they've seen, not what they've experienced. And I just don't think that makes any sense. You can't, you know, say a game sucks and you haven't played it. Uh, that's just the way, you know, I see it. Um, but regarding the bots, a lot of people were saying, you know, like I said, I feel like it was just people who haven't played the game and a lot of fanboys blindly hating and stuff. The, the thing about the bots, people, like, I clearly, it, 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 sometimes I feel like I shouldn't even talk in videos. Sometimes I think I should just upload a video and don't say anything because it'll, it'll, it's, it's the equivalent, it's the same thing as me speaking because people don't listen. People were writing comments such as, you know, how can you, how can you, uh, find killing bots fun when I clearly clear and cut crystal said in that video that killing bots is not fun I said I wish they would actually replace the bots with another method to decrease your Titan time I clearly said that people are like how could you find killing bots fun never said that it's like why do I speak why do I speak why do I speak listen to my words killing bots is not fun but it does not completely erase the fun factor that you get from actually killing another player or getting in actual titan battles bots one part of the game does not erase the fun factor of another part of the game does it decrease it yes it does not erase it though People were acting like, oh, because bots bots are in the game, and I don't defend the bots at all. Like I said, I believe they should be taken out, but that does not erase the fun factor. That is the fun that is still to be had in the game. Nobody's running around in this game purposely chasing bots, you know, having fun killing bots. No, everybody, you know, who plays this game is trying to concentrate on finding real players and getting in actual titan battles because when you're in a titan battle it's guaranteed you're playing against another player bots can't control titans you know so they can be put in ai mode but more or less you're fighting against a real person so you know more videos coming people i'm out of here peace